Okay, so I've got my breadboard ready. And I'll start with the FTDI. Just place that on there for now. Need some sort of connector for this. And I'll put that on the end there. Next, I'll put the Arduino in place. I've got a fairly new breadboard on the... Um, Breadboard's really stiff. Then I'll plug the NRF in. Okay, I need to tell you about the pinout arrangement now. So this is pin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the one with the square is always pin one. Okay. So to start with, pin 1 goes to ground, and ground is also pin 1 on the AMS1117. Then, pin 2 is 3.3 volts, which is pin 2 on the AMS1117. Then pin 3... Pin 3, I'm going to put to pin 9 on the Arduino. Pin 4 is going to go to pin 10 on the Arduino. Pin 5 is going to 13 on the Arduino. Pin 6 is going to 11 on the Arduino. Pin 7 is going to pin 12 on the Arduino. And 8, I don't think 8's used, but I'm going to put it into number. Put it onto pin 2. Right, so just to recap, you've got pin 1. Oh, by the way, you should double check this as well. So we've got pin 1 going to ground, which, okay, it is. Pin 2 goes to. VCC, or in this case it's 3.3 volts. Pin 3 needs to go to pin 9, so that's this one. Pin 9, that's correct. Pin 4 needs to go to pin 10, that's correct. Pin 5 needs to go to 13. Pin 6 needs to go to 11. Pin 7 needs to go to pin 12. And pin 8 doesn't really matter, I don't think, and that's going to pin 2. Right, so far so good. And you can see we've got this wired up. Everything looks good so far. Okay, so you'll need to repeat that for your second um, transceiver now. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat it for my second one. Don't worry about all this mess here, just copy off this one. The wiring's the same here, but I've got these in because my Arduino Pro Mini's got full use of all of the pin headers and it means that it's not breadboard compatible, so I've just had to use these, but just ignore that. Right, so the next thing we need to do is wire up the power. So I'm going to go from the source pin of the AMS1117 to VCC on the FTDI. And basically, that's going to power the AMS1117 with 5 volts. And I'll do the same for this one. So, source in the AMS1117 to VCC on the FTDI. That gives that 5 volts. And, of course, we need to give it ground. So, ground is the first pin of the AMS, which is that one. And that's going to ground. Round. And the same here, first pin to ground. Okay, these are ready to go now.
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open up Arduino and then go to Sketch and then include Library and click on Manage Libraries. When this comes up, you'll be able to see Type, All, Topic, All and Filter Your Search. So click and filter your search and then type in RF24. And then you should be able to see this RF24 by TMRH20 version, whatever. You need to install that library. So when you've installed that, just restart Arduino. Okay, so I've created a new file called RX. And now it's time to program this receiver. First thing we need to do is include. So include spi.h and also include rf24.h. Oops, I just noticed a mistake there. Okay. Then we need const int max massive length and that's going to be 64. That's just a variable to hold the length of our um, message, or potentially the maximum length of the message. Then we need a char array, so char message, and that's going to be an array. And the array size is going to be the max message length. Then we need an instance of the class, so RF24 radio, and we'll give it pins 9 and 10. They're the parameters that it needs. Then const uint 64 underscore t, and we'll call that pipe. And pipe will be one. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but basically it's a number to tie two NRFs together. From what I gather, you can potentially have different channels and different numbers for channels and stuff like that. But this is just a number to tie to another NRF. From what I gather, anyway. I could be wrong. We should check the documentation, really. But there we go. Then we need to start the setup now. So I'll just save this. So start the setup. So we're on serial dot begin nine six zero zero or whatever you prefer. Then radio dot begin. Then radio dot set pa level level. We'll give it RF24 underscore PA underscore min. That means minimum power level. They're only going to be close together for the purpose of this anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Then we need serial dot print lin in there, and I'll copy that because we're going to need a few more of those later. And I'll say started. Next, radio dot open read pipe, and we'll give that one and pipe. That's the number of basically that's the number that describes this channel because it can have set up to six channels from what I remember. And that pipe, that's the you could call it the name of the pipe which it expects to receive from the the other node if you like. Again, we would need to read the documentation for that. Um, so we need another print line to say opened, then radio dot start listening, then another one of these to say listening. Okay, that's the setup code, and then in the loop code we need if radio dot available if there's anything to read oops if there's anything to read then say available if there's nothing to read say not available not available Okay, and we need a delay, delay, and another print, wait. Okay, and then if there is data available, we need to read it. So 
radio dot read we need to read it into the buffer which is message and we need the length of that to read so max masug length and take away one because we don't actually want to ever fill this buffer and we also need to put a serial dot print line in here to say you know, red and message and we'll make sure that's a string right and I think that's done that looks good to me there could be a problem but we'll um, no doubt find out later if there is so I'll just save that now okay and now it's time to start creating the transmitter so I've made a new document here and I'll just push this to the to the right okay we need the same two imports as earlier so I'll put those in there okay we need a char pointer we'll call it message Masug. that's just to hold the message that we're going to send and we need this the same as earlier and we need these also or this as well okay then here we need to do radio dot open writing pipe and we'll call that we'll give that the parameter pipe then we need a serial print then opened just save this call it TX right okay so we need to set the message to something hello my name is Anthony that'll do okay next thing we need to do is uh, work on this loop so we need radio dot write music and the length of the message which is a char pointer so len music that should work then we need a serial dot print len written And then we need a delay. We want to transmit every five seconds. And then we'll have wait. A bit easier in the receive code. Okay, so I've closed both projects and I'll reopen them side by side. Sometimes you have to close them and reopen them because otherwise you get problems with the COM port here. So anyway, I'm going to go to Tools on one of them, go to Port and change the COM port. So they're both different COM ports now. And then I'll try and re-upload. Well, sorry, upload. And straight away I've got an error on this one. Open read pipe. That's because it should be reading pipe. So I'll try and re-upload that. So compiling sketch, we've got one of them uploading, one's completed and the other one's uploading now, done uploading, right, so now I'm going to open the serial console on both. And now I'll reset the devices. So I've reset both. And now what we should see is that one of them's writing, hello, my name's Anthony, and the other one should be receiving it. You can see here, it says written, wait, written, wait. And here you can say, hello, my name's Anthony, wait, nothing. Hello, my name's Anthony, wait, nothing. That's because this is, of course, 
transmitting every five seconds and this is reading every two and a half seconds so one in two times it actually receives something so you can see here that it's working really well as intended so the next thing to do is to reverse the roles and just make sure it works I've tried one as the receiver and the other as the transmitter and I've tried reversing those roles and they both work they both work fine so as usual I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy it please don't forget to click subscribe thanks for watching bye